Um, what's the time? Okay. Quickly, I'm going to change my mind. So here, we've got the call, right? You're trying to do the choke, he's blocking my hand, whatever. I'm just going to grab whatever. See like that? So I've got, the, got this, we're going back to the first choke we did. What do I want to do here? Thumb inside, fingers to the ground, but he stops me. So I'll just grab whatever I can grab. My left hand foot will now go to the front of his head. See that? And now, right? Angle pressure. Step up quick, jump to the corner, accidentally kill his arm, and choke his neck. You see? Like that. So we'll just do a back take from the mirror. Very useful because I think for every position that you, you do, you should have, your priority should be, how many ways can you get to that position? Because the more ways you have to get to that position, and even if you've got one finish, you're gonna have lots of chances to do that finish. So if you've got five ways to get to knee right and one finish, you get to do that finish a lot of times. If you've only got one way to get to knee right and 28 finishes, you may do none of them because you can never get to the knee right. So my priority would be the number of ways you can get there, then the finishes, right? But you also then need to know one more thing, where are you going from the knee right if you can't finish or you don't like it or he's escaping or something. So where are you, where are you going to next? So you've got to have ways to get there, things to do from there, and then where you're going from there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, 